What's good? It's your boy Sheen, Spusenberg, and we are jumping back into Breaking Bad. My guy Walt is starting to let his ego get to him a bit. He bought Walt Jr. that car, and now it just seems like Skyler and him are butting heads a lot more than they were these past few episodes. Rightfully so, after Walt acted out of character and, you know, Skyler was looking to leave. We're gonna see what taking that car away from Flynn does to the family and how Flynn takes that. And also we're gonna see how deep Hank gets into this case and if he can get any more breaks on it. We also got that letter from the cartel saying that they were ready to talk. So I believe Mike set up that meeting for Gus and then to sit down with the cartel and see what they had to say. So strap in, make sure you guys also head over to our Patreon. Tons of content over there. If you want to jump basically a season ahead and finish this show off, by the time you guys get this, we should be, you know, inching closer to the end of Breaking Bad. So if you want to jump ahead on Breaking Bad and get a lot more content, make sure you click that link and that you head over to the Patreon and you sub up. We also got a link in the description for our Discord. So if you want to talk about any of the Breaking Bad episodes or um, anything else that we've watched previously, you can do so within the Discord. Or you can jump over to Patreon, join as a free member, and chat it up in the community chat. But without further ado, let's jump back into Breaking Bad. Let's get it. This guy's house is still a mess. Don't remind him Miguel. Yeah. Little promotion for the game. <laughs> and nobody buying that shit. You gonna restart. Cut. Boy fully in. Cut up boy Jesse MC Hammer. They ain't even take that car back. How's Junior? No. Exactly what I expected. He hasn't said a word to me since we told him it was going back. I um Spoke to the dealership. They didn't want to take it. It's got 17 miles on the odometer. I know. Spent the better part of an hour sweet talking the manager down to a restocking fee. $800. Call me if there's a problem. And please just don't. Don't tangle with anyone. Why'd she say that? Bueno, Martin. Muy bueno. Walt. Do you to pay him? The car wash. Clean the car. <laughs> it's my shop. I'm not keep him in good stand. Is that a wall tweet? Yeah, why is he doing that? He really ain't getting no money for this shit. Now. I think he's doing this on purpose so he can give it back to. Because he put miles on it. Never said him actually looking at John Way over there. Never know. That way down Toretto. Did he hit something? Bro, do not be thinking. Well, he don't Boy's be brain listening. is this big. <sighs> they giving that boy nothing for that car now. Yeah, if he fell into the bank, he definitely had to mess up the front of the car a little bit. If he can live a life of virtue, then I hope I can. He's in a photo car. Two offices, you would have a turn. For what? Like, why is he doing that? Oh, what? what is acting real stupid now? I'm gonna go out, stupid ass. Hey, bro, how you gonna get home? Like, I don't care. We're having the time of his life, man. And he mad close. Like, he acting like, oh, metal can't fling off and hit him. I need a cab. Yes, thank you. The name is White. H how long do you think that would take? No, I'm sure he'll see me. What was the point of that? He's creeped out. <sighs> he was headed for destruction of property, but since it's your own property, I sweated him down to misdemeanor trash burning. Uh, it's a five grand fine, 600 for towing and disposal, another three grand to steam clean the blacktop, so. 
bottom line, your little joyride's gonna set you back about uh, 52,000 bucks, so was it worth it? I don't need to hear the blow by blow. Just tell me it's done. That means your record stays clean, the wife never finds out. I've been working magic here. That boy saw be working. Yeah. You're acting stupid now. Give me the keys to the vault. Give me everything in there. See, he got all them tapes and shit. Dead. And there's nothing I could do about it. All that's left is to wait. And we're sure about this. Because Pigman says he needs you too much. Gus not even worried about him like yeah. that. Yeah. Much bigger shit he gotta worry about. Unless you could help me find a third party. Someone who can ameliorate the situation. You talking about a hitman? Assuming that's still what they're called. <laughs> Wrong answer. All I would need is a phone number. I'd do the rest. Like, yo, who does this guy think he is? One or two guys west of the Rockies who do this kind of work. These guys, they know Mike, and Mike knows them. What are you telling me? Mike knows everyone who does this? Who do you think gave me their names? Well, you gotta ask yourself, how good is good enough? Because exactly. whatever Goomba we buy at some point is gonna come head to head with our friend Mike. And Gus Fring, hey, just winging that guy is not gonna ameliorate your situation. Yeah. I tried to solve this myself, but I can't get anywhere near him. Why don't you ask your partner? Gotta bring Jesse into this shit again. What happened exactly? None of your business. I was at a diner with Mike, and he just shows up. So this is like a, a regular thing? <sighs> How close were you to him? How about trying to get his crib done now? And closer than you and me right now. Did he speak to you? I told Walt, leave me the fuck alone. He said he sees things in people. What things? What people? Me. He said he sees something in me. A month ago, Gus was trying to kill both of us. And now he pulls you out of the lab and employs you as a, an assistant gunman? A tough guy? Does that make any sense to you? Doesn't matter, bro. Like... What kind of game is he playing? Does he think you're that naive? He can't truly think that you'd forget and all the horror that goes along with all of that. What about this girlfriend of yours? Looked you straight in the eye and told you no more children, but that very night, that little boy. But it's true though. My Gus can't possibly think that you forget that. Well, stop trying to manipulate this fucking situation and go home. Possible that he would think that you're that weak-willed. Drop the sales pitch. Like, yeah, bro. I'll do it. I'll kill him. First chance I get. I yeah. hate people that just be beating like, around the bush. Bro, like, just say shit. this shit. Like, I know why you came Talk about you weak will you throw, you forget. Like, bro, just fucking say kill him, bro. Get on my nerves. Never, now, you bro. have never came to my crib. Get on my nerves more than Skylar. I ain't gonna lie. How's Hank doing? You know what? He's doing better. Lately, his mood's improved, and he's like a maniac with his PT. He's trying to get back in the game now. Yeah. Hey, your cashier here is quite the salesperson. She just talked me into something called the Orbital Paste Wax Buff. Oh, it's very important to maintain your clear coat, boy, once that goes. Um, hi. <laughs> hi. Put on that front. Last night, I deposited $3,800. $274,000, give or take. Come on, play Iraqis. And, and, and this is how often? Every two weeks. Thursday's good for a drop off. Are you telling me you make $7,125,000 a year? Seven and a half even. And this is somehow bad news. No, that's, that's not the point. Can't keep all that shit in there. I mean, this is nine months work here minimum seven million that could take years so I'll set some aside save it for a rainy day save it where i can't go to the bank with it i s sure can't leave it here you wanted to be saw figure it out i was under the impression that you had this under control i just didn't expect 
this amount of money. Skylar, this is a simple division of labor. I bring in the money, you launder the money. This is what you wanted. I never wanted any of this. No cap, though. If you want out, just didn't. say that you want out. Ah. Uh, okay, then. Simple. I'm doing my job, you do your job. That you was wanted the plan. this job too. You was like, forced to ask for any of it, but like, bro, you threw yourself into the situation. Yeah, bro. He told you that you didn't need to get involved. She wanted to get involved. But then again, it's she Walt's was already fault. involved. And that's crazy because in the one episode he was tweaking out, he had that fly that was in there, and that's low key to fly the camera. He's yeah. following that boy everywhere you go. What the You're resin telling me shit? you made this in the lab? Making it in his own lab seemed appropriate. There's not much of it. We had more for Tuco. It's enough. It's that resin shit. You slip it into his food or drink. There shouldn't be any taste or smell. 36 hours later. This is so dumb. Like, bro, you fucked up. No one will be surprised. Hey, bro, I don't know who walking what about he is and what he thinks is going to happen Mike afterwards, but... Suspicions, but that's all they'll be. One homicidal maniac at a time. Hey, why can't you figure out a way to do it? Why do I have to do it? Every time it's Jesse, bro. Keep it with you. When you have the opportunity, be ready. Oh, this man, they no. search me. Yeah. Will they do that? When is Gus ever sitting down eating with them anyway? Oh shit, how that nigga smoke that drum. Now, that's a hundred IQ right there. He just gotta know which one it is, or that boy cook nation. It's wrong way around. It's my lucky cigarette. Whatever you do, don't smoke it. No cap. You, you know they have a drive through right? <laughs> Nah, this is good. Use the exercise. Oh boy, Hank getting right? Mm-hmm. I was gonna say cripples, but I, uh, it's fucked up. It might take me a while, but uh, I'll get there. Yeah. Your boy moving good now. Jesus. But Gus know who he is, too, so it's like... V8, 470 horses, 20-inch rims, satellite radio, Bluetooth. It blew his shit up. Spur the moment your dad just up to buys you a brand new Challenger? Like... <laughs> yeah. I, I barely got around the block, and m Mom said we couldn't afford it, so they took it back. When I was your age, I'd have given my left nut to drive a car like that for 15 minutes. Back, right, so... <laughs> Agent Schrader. Oh, hey, how you doing? Well, thank you. Good to see you. Walter Jr., do you uh, remember Mr. Frank? How are you? <laughs> well, nice to see you again. It's a pleasure to see you here. Hey, you're looking very well. Chalk it up to uh, clean living and uh, vitamin pills. Uh -huh. He got his jokes and shit back. In the future, please feel free to ask for me. A DEA hero should never have to pay for a meal at Pollos Hermanos. Uh, no kidding? Well, I'll take you up on that for sure. <laughs> if ever you're interested in rewarding part-time work, uh, perhaps something after school? Yeah. My door is always open. So sounds good. A, a refill, perhaps? No, no thank you. I I'm good. Sure. Take a Diet Coke. Thank you very much. Of course. I swear Buddy Pay his role so good. That boy making moves, making plays. I wonder where he needed that cup for, though. Fingerprint. Because when he was pouring it, they showed his fingers. Yeah. Come on, dummy. That boy got him. That boy got him with this sneaky play. Can they got that bitch. The agent's out there now. Yeah, boy. Oh, he's taking them to the meetup? I guess. The cartel meetup. That's why all people was out there. It's the cartel. In case shit go haywire, I got them boys out that there. That boy said the big doings. And that boy, when he, when he eats. <laughs> now, are those Mike's people? or the, Yeah, gotta be Mike's people. The boy's watching everybody. Yeah, and yeah. they got the airpieces in. Oh, look look angry. Let's go. Ah, right, bro, this is a big moment right here. Leave the wrap on, please. 
Nah, I'm not Yo, I'm I'm Nah, he in a bad mood. Yeah. Sure. He dealing with the Hank shit, and now he got to meet with meet with them. Three guys up at the gate, two visible, one in the blind. We got five guys down here with a backup out of sight. He nervous as shit. All them people, bro, I'd be so shook. Like, you know it's something he big. He can't on. put that in the coffee. He don't know who gonna drink it. If you do that, that's stupid. I'm not gonna do that. Because if he pour that in that coffee and I in kill the one of the cartel people. Don't do it, Jesse. He's smart, That's man. not smart at all. Put it back in your fucking pocket. Close it up. I don't have an extra holster. You stick this in your pocket, keep it out of sight. You're going to be here today. You're going to have a gun. Hey, you can shoot Gus right now. I don't want to see that in your hand unless you see me with mine. Understood? Emergency only. So don't go get sugar happy. First car is coming. Yeah, he stopped. Good thing he stopped him. That boy Gus trying to have that good hospitality. Eyes up a mouth shot. I won't say a damn word. I'm all them other people boys. is really, they professional. They got the same schlacks on and all. Mike's boys. That's not the boss, though, so I'm trying to see the boss. You don't know who that is. Guns. He was out on a mission, though. That's what I'm saying. Yours. You want to sweep the place before you bring in your guys? I am the guy. Donde esta el resto del grupo? El único que viene soy yo. ¿Y por qué es eso? Mis herentes piensan que yo puedo representar sus intereses adecuadamente. Tome asiento. You can see in his face all the emotions he be going through. Like, damn, he wished the boys were the king because he would have probably killed them. Yeah, like, just them to kill him, but now mm -hmm. he can't do that. Yo haré un solo pago. Damn. Dios. He said no to whatever it was. Mm -hmm. The boy right in the back of his scout. You do that, you're not getting out of there. Literally. You got something in mind? My gun. My fucking gun. Mike gun peeping. Like, hmm? Mike, gonna, Mike is gonna see him plotting. Figure I better teach you how to shoot. Could be things are gonna get hairy. When you're you're giving me a gun and and now I'm like part of the team or whatever. He said he sees something in me. Like demon. Like what? Literally. Crash out D1 dummy. If I had to put it in a word. Crash out. I'd guess loyalty. That's facts. That everybody ran up on Gail. Well, then maybe you got it for the wrong guy. Damn, well, that's what I'm saying. D1 crash out dummy. If he was really doing that for Gus, bro. He wouldn't have him in stupid situations where. But I'm saying, though, Jesse had really, like, front lines. Like, I want Mike type shit. Like, <laughs> no, Cap, he love that. Hey. Hey. Long time no see. That was the boy at his rehab resort. And now, yeah, I said. Okay, we're going to get started. You coming in? So the truth is. We can't change the past. What's done is done. We got to own our actions, but putting ourselves on trial, acting as our own judge, jury, and executioner, it's not the answer. I'm such an asshole. It's totally hopeless. What's the point? What's going on with you these days? Oh boy, low calling out just. I uh, went back to the crystal. You sober now? Yeah. Four days. Big whoop, right? Hey, four days is four days. You're here. Come on, bro. Working at the laundry? Sucks ass. He talked about that before he left. Mm -hmm. 
Anything you want to talk about? He got a good way of making them feel safe to open up the certain shit. A couple weeks back, I uh, killed a dog. I put him down. I watched him go. I was Damn. looking them straight in the eye. And, you know, he didn't know what was happening. He didn't know why. He he was just scared. And he was suffering. It was a kindness. No, he wasn't sick. Problem, dog. What'd he do? Bite someone? Yeah. But a few people. Never bit anybody. You pick up the rock, you go right to the dark side. Ain't no rock that made me do it. Well, what was the problem? Why'd you have to kill him? Watch the crosstalk, please. Let him talk. How'd you feel about what you did, Jesse? They start getting on, Jesse. Who cares how you feel? What kind of a person kills a dog for no reason? Colleen. Yo, get her the fuck out of here. I'm off at a show. Why don't you just sit there and talk about killing a helpless, innocent Colleen. animal? We're not here to sit in judgment. You know, maybe I should have put it in the paper. Maybe I, I should have done something different. The thing is, if you just do stuff and nothing happens, what's it all mean? What's the point? Me hurry. I mean, you back your truck over your own kid and you, like, accept? Oh, what a load of crap. Hey, Jesse. Why I'm here in the first place is to sell you meth. You're nothing to me but customers. I made you my bitch. You okay with that? He let them just get it out. Go ahead. About time. You gotta get up and leave after that. Damn. So Jess needed to get that shit out, though. But he did it to the wrong people. Man. Yeah. Nah, that bitch Colleen started tweeting. <laughs> I didn't mean to call her that, but she started tweeting. He conflicted. He like, should I kill what? Or Gus, or both of them. A week. What's going on? I haven't seen him. I didn't think so, but I'll just give it another shot anyway. But bro, you not slay, like, bro. It's That's Gomi. Yeah. Wait a minute, go over a minute. They got a cut shit. <laughs> hey, buddy, look at that. Graduated the doorman. Finally found your calling. <laughs> What'd you do? Show you Barbara a picture of a dog's ass and I'll take that. <laughs> Bro, annoying. If you want to hold this album. No, 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 no. You keep your mitts off me. I'm good. I'm good. Good luck. She good was boy. always supporting that boy. Even when he was a fucking asshole. Boy back in the office. Wait, bro. Let me grab your elbow. I ain't seen you walk in here. I can't tell you what that means to all of us. Yeah, well, chalk it up to clean living and vitamin pills. You keep saying that. I made GS-14. Wow, that's all right, man. Next stop, Washington, D.C. Seriously, congratulations, buddy. Thanks. Well, he's working on a murder case. The victim's a 34-year-old male Caucasian by the name of Gail Bedecker. Bonafide chemistry genius. I mean, he's got degrees up to wazoo, right? Vegan, uh, sandals and socks kind of guy. As it turns out, He's also an A number one meth cook. His specialty products, blue. This is your Heisenberg? Heisenberg's former cook. And maybe a line on Heisenberg himself. I find this. Now, this here, I, uh, I do a little Google foo, and I, I realize it's a parts number. Specifically for this baby. What do you need that for? It'd be perfect for a pharmaceutical plant or a microchip factory, or maybe the biggest meth lab north of the border. I call their Houston office, and eventually I get through to the nicest little 20-year-old temp. I use some of the Schrader's sweet talk on her. Fuck out of here. Six months ago, one of these systems was shipped to a depot right here in ABQ. Who signed for it? Gail Bedecker. They have no record that anybody actually paid for this thing. A tiny little foothold in American fast food, specifically a local chain. Poyos Hermanos. But now I get this crazy idea, and I can't shake it. What's a vegan doing in a fried chicken joint? Like, maybe this guy. This whole friend of law enforcement thing? 
Could be a case of keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. They're not gonna go for it, but he is on it, yeah. bro. He's our guy. You gotta take a stab at it. Hey, no offense, but I think you're really reaching. If your guy had his meeting at KFC, you wouldn't immediately assume that he's sitting down with Colonel Sanders. The whole thing is off the map nuts. Except... I got his fingerprints. Can't seem oh. to wrap my mind around this one little thing. What a Gustavo Fring's fingerprints doing in Gail Bedecker's apartment. Yo, Hank is different when it comes to the detective. Nah, what if he took that cup and put it in the apartment? And just said it was part of it because he knew that they wasn't going to believe him. Yeah. So now he's reaching Loki. Yeah. Nah, he did that shit with the cup, bro. There's no way that they show... Like, bro, you got to think... When y'all watch TV shows, you got to put two and two together, you feel me? They, yo, let me get a refill. Die a coat. Then he go put the coat on and the they thing. zoomed on on his fingers. Right then he leave. He pour the diet coke out, but then he wrap it up in the evidence. But then where's the cup at now? It's nowhere to be found. Come on, bro. And then he can just say that they gave. He could have literally took the fingerprints of the off of the cup and and just take those random pictures. Yeah, like come on, bro. Use tape and just press it against come whatever on, it is. But with that, it's like together because Gus. There's no way Gus. Wait. Now they never showed us a flashback in Bro, going to Gail's house. He would never go to his house. He would never touch anything of Gail's. Like, but you never know. He may have, due to the simple fact that he never thought that they would kill him. But even with that, he'd be making sure his bases are covered, bro. That's why he don't. Bro, but Gail was one of those people who would never tell, bro. Like Gail I would. Know that you feel me? So like maybe he did meet with him one or a couple times and that like bro he wasn't expecting for just to go that bad yeah for like jet he don't even know jesse and them did it he don't he don't even yeah, know jesse do. and them did it yeah you do because when he was like you know, oh yeah fucking uh walt address. told him walt told him yeah but he never planned for them to go off the rails and do some shit like that and then get everybody involved all right yeah that was the end of episode seven is season four and like i said in in the beginning with the intro hank was gonna find something else out this episode man he's been working so hard marie said he's feeling a little bit better he's trying to walk he's really like back into it ever since walt gave him that tip like what if he's just copying and pasting everything so he's gonna be doing everything he can to catch heisenberg like he said my guy is really on to it it's just such a far shot out into left field that people that really can't imagine this operation to be run like this would believe him so he has to do a little bit more to actually get people on board which like swift said he could have just planted those fingerprints in order to get them to believe they're probably looking at him like he's doing like he he's bored at home like we feel bad for wall he's hurt it's not really for him to do but deep dive into this case 24 7 so and he like this case is everything to him so he's gonna do anything he can to get us to believe but now with him just putting even if he planted that evidence that that was some evidence planted to get them to go in the right direction now they can really start to not crack down on things but start to build a case they getting closer and closer to the wall if they find out that gus is like the ringleader that's all north of the border like this is the guy that we want but it's still heisenberg that is out making the product so if they don't get heisenberg out the game this game is just gonna continue to get run, uh, run because at a certain point they get rid of gus heisenberg can just take over and do whatever he needs because he's the one that has the formula the way that breaking bad does everybody's point of view I, I think that they do a great job at that for you to be able to understand the characters even like now episodes and seasons skylar got on my nerves to the fullest you feel me but like now that they're at, at this point of the show me personally i'm able to see what she 
is trying to implement for everything to go as smoothly as possible so like even like the example with the whole car situation like even though like you could be like nah she'd be an asshole like they could just keep it they could figure it out like she's really on the side of like i don't even want people to start questioning certain shit but you saw this episode with hank like you went to the car lot and he got you the best car on the lot like right. that don't even make yeah. sense you feel me so um especially like somebody like hank you can't really give him those hints or you know what i mean leave those footprints behind because he's someone who would pick it up and you know what i mean once he start to piece certain things together he's gonna go full in on it until he finds out whether he's right or wrong with the situation whereas like this he knows he's right which is why he's pushing so hard for it and basically he's the one that's pushing for the new evidence to be found so he's not gonna stop until he finds heisenberg which was stupid on Walt's part because he could have just let the whole thing rest because right. somebody like Hank you don't want him on your ass but like for somebody that's in law enforcement as a viewer it's good having him in the show with the mindset that he has because at the same time you don't want him to catch Walt because you like Walt's character but at the same time but on the flip side it gives you that adrenaline rush or like that that like that kick that thrill because it's like yo that boy hank right there and walt don't know but then you think like walt thinks he's so far ahead and he's so smarter than everybody that it really don't matter it's like on one end walt is up two steps ahead and they're on the same side the flip side of the coin like hank is eight steps ahead you know what i mean because like even with the whole gusting him doing what he did it's hard for people to believe because Gus did the situation so right by being so involved um, when the whole shit happened with the the agents and stuff and him bringing the food to the shit. You know what I mean? Like he got pictures with the the, the chief of the fucking department. You he know got what I mean? So it's like he put too. himself or played this role or set things up to where you wouldn't even question him for doing something like that because like every time you come through he got that smile on his face he's trying to help out in the community but on the flip side he living in that second life to where he's running this business he's fucking with the cartel what i think is gonna happen is the cartel might kill gus and then mike jesse and walt is gonna do their own thing but it's gonna be hard for them to do their own thing because once the cartel killed gus they might send people over to replace gus there's no that's way there's no way gus though. makes this shit out there's no way he makes it out because he like on one side he got jesse and them trying to kill him and then he got the cartel on his ass and like mike can only help him so much you know what yeah. i mean he can only be so aware of the situation so there's no interesting how this whole, whole drawn play out um the way they just ended it just now now that he got that evidence so those fingerprints so they could really start pursuing the case um, they can start having people watch Gus. They can start having people go into uh, Los Polos and just sit down to eat and just watch what's going on. See who and it's just like different, you know what I mean, customers. If you enjoyed the reaction, make sure you like the video, comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the subscribe button, the bell icon so you notify when you drop these videos. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Uh, happy to be bringing you out this Breaking Bad series, like Sheem said earlier in the intro. If you guys want to go ahead and basically jump to the season five episode 10 will probably be on at this point when y'all get this go ahead and check out the patreon um if you want to recommend movies check out the vip tier you can just direct message us about how to go about that but we love you i appreciate y'all until the next video the kids react it